Hi guys, welcome back to Miss Bellina's story time. I'm so glad you're joining me today. I have another book that I am just enjoying. I, this is actually a new book to me. It's called Where Are My Books? And it's by Debbie Ridpath Ohai. It's really cute and I think you're going to enjoy it. It's about a little boy whose books have gone missing. Let's find out what happens. Ready? Spencer loved books. His favorite bedtime book was Night Night Narwhal and sometimes he read it aloud. Every night, Spencer put the book back where it belonged. That way, he'd always be able to find it. Until one morning. Where is my book? Spencer looked everywhere, but it was no use. Night, night, narwhal was gone. That evening, he chose Tenacious Todd. It was okay. But Todd was a toad, and toads were amphibians, and amphibian books were supposed to be for right after lunch story time. When Spencer woke up the next morning, Tenacious Todd was gone. Every morning, another book was missing. Poor Spencer. Next to go was Send in the Clownfish. Then Beluga Beluga vanished. Sea Monkey and Bob went missing. Things were getting out of hand. Spencer vowed to find out what was going on. His father did not know what happened to Night Night Narwhal. Spencer's mother had no idea either. Nor had she seen Tenacious Todd send in the clownfish, Beluga Beluga, or any of Spencer's other missing books. That left only one person. Where are my books? Uh-oh. It looks like he thought it was his little sister. Oh, and he frightened her when he yelled. Oh boy. <gasps> oh, uh oh. There goes his mama. Hmm. I think she had a few things to say to Spencer. It was time for a new plan. That night, Spencer sat, <clears throat> set a trap with his copy of Space Frog Sam. He tied a rope around his book and he attached his narwhal and held on to it tight. You think this plan is going to work? The next morning, it was time for Spencer to get his book back. Oh, look at that. I think the plan did work. Where are my books? yelled Spencer as he watched his narwhal flying through the yard. Oh boy, look at him running after it. 
Spencer ran faster. The thief was just around the corner. Aha, uh -huh, he said. That's my... Book? Oh, look who's reading his books. It's a bunch of squirrels. Spencer didn't know squirrels like to read. It gave him a great idea. Spencer told the squirrels they could borrow his books, but there would be rules. Just like at the library, they had to return the books they borrowed before they could borrow more. But they didn't need to leave anything behind. Wasn't that nice of him to share his books with the squirrels? Spencer even helped them pick out their first book. He chose one for himself, too. Aw, look at him as he's sharing with the squirrels. And look who's coming to join him. His little sister. And he promised to read it aloud. Aw, look at that. He's reading to the squirrels and his baby sister. What a nice brother. The end. Where are my books? I love this story. I thought it was really great. I love that he was able to figure out a plan on how to find his books. And did his plan work? It sure did. He found his books and also found the squirrels who had taken his books. And he was able to help them come up with a good plan where they could borrow the books like they do at the library. And, but they had to return them. And I think that was a good plan. Remember, when you borrow books from the library, it's always important to return them so that others can read them too. All right, guys, it was great sharing my book with you. See you again next time. Bye.